Here locally, we are hearing from groups who work with migrants, getting them settled once they reach Nevada. And today, Kim Passoff spoke directly to a man who just made the journey across the border and now calls Las Vegas home. She joins us live with his story. Kim? Yeah, he says he decided to risk his life simply for the hope of a better one, making a treacherous journey from his native Colombia here to Las Vegas. Tranquilo. He says he feels very safe here. He feels at peace. He's no longer receiving any threats. Alvaro Yacid Gonzalez Castilla crossed the southern border six months ago, escaping death threats in his home country of Colombia as he tried to become a police officer. The journey to the U.S., treacherous. Being able to cross through the Rio Bravo was one of the most dangerous parts. Of He, unfortunately, was able to experience it with one of the children that crossed with him. The child almost was taken away. Once at the border, Jasid was put on a bus and taken to a processing facility in Eagle Pass, Texas. The officers there just basically treated them the way they wanted. They humiliated them. He says immigration agents treated humans like animals, cramming dozens of people in small spaces. They had to sometimes share these mats to be able to sleep. Um, sometimes people didn't have mats, so they had to sleep on the floor. When he arrived in Las Vegas, where his uncle had secured work, a church group, as well as Make the Road Nevada, helped him. Erica Marquez with Make the Road, whose parents brought her to the U.S. when she was three, says the future is uncertain for so many with Title 42 coming to an end. We see them coming and asking for help, asking for refuge, asking for asylum. Ask if they would have had to do what is being asked for, I think it would have been near impossible for them to be able to arrive to the U.S. Jaseed hopes sharing his story, his struggle, will inspire compassion for many others, also seeking a better life. He says that the reason um, it's very important and the reason why he thinks that it's um, necessary for us to be able to open these borders are because people are literally suffering. They're at war in their own countries and they're not being helped. And today, Nevada's sole Republican in Congress voted for new legislation, the Secure the Border Act, to hire more Border Patrol agents. He released a statement saying, in part, that President Biden has failed to secure the southern border, adding, quote, it is not compassionate to ignore the large amounts of drugs coming through the border and killing Americans. It is not compassionate to embolden desperate migrants to make a journey where they could be raped or killed. Reporting live tonight, Kim Passoff, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.